what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and i'm gonna have some great cars for you today so i need you to go out and get some popcorn get whatever you want to drink i want you to sit back and relax and just have a great time me showing you all these different cars i'm gonna be showing you today and just sit back and relax and enjoy the show so i'm gonna be showing you some great cars some of these are oldie cars but they're goodies Got these with the rest of the cars I showed you in the last video. I uh, got this one right here online. And these are some 132 scale cars. So we're going to be uh, showing you some good ones. We're going to start off with this number 75. This is a Wally Dullenback car. It's number 75. Powerpuff Girls from the Cartoon Network. Lots of cool paint scheme on that one. For Taurus. Not sure what this is. Something's on there. Have to figure out what that is. Hole underneath is all black. Of course, got the uh, opening trunk. Not too detailed in there, but it's got some stuff in there. And you got your everything else and the Cartoon Network. Logo, if you can see it, underneath the hood. Nice, great car. Like I said, number 75, Wally Dollenback. And this next one is a number 97. Of course, none of you, if none of you don't know who this guy is, he, uh, Hasn't raced oh, since last year. Um, he drives a number 45 car last year for, I think it's 23XI Racing or something like that. His name's Kurt Busch. This is a Team Caliber car. So some pretty, uh, pretty detail on it. This one he used to drive for uh, Jack Roush in Roush Fenway Racing. Pink trunk. Of course, this is a rookie car. Got the rookie stripes on it. Nuts rubber in there. For Taurus. I think, uh, can't remember what year this is. I'm going to see if I can find out anywhere where the year is at. Should say it on a box. Mm hmm. 2001. This is a rookie year. Number 97 Sharpie Rubbermaid car. Another nice, really nice paint scheme. And the flaps open up too, I think. Yeah. So, the other one opens up. If you can see it, I just can't get to it. So. Okay. This so next one is another another number ninety seven Kurt Busch, and this got to be his not his rookie car. It's from two thousand two. You know, rookie stripes on her. Still team caliber. Got his sharpie. Win a million dollars. I'm not sure what race he ran this one in, but I do remember seeing the race. Of 
And also the roof flaps open up as well. Got the, everything in there. Detailed engine. And uh, no stickers in the tires. Nice detail underneath. Springs and everything underneath here. Around one more time. There you go. This next one is the number six. And this is also uh, the Jack Roush Fenway Stable. This is a uh, Mark Martin. It's an Eagle One oil. And this one's made by Racing Champions. Now, this one also came with a uh, like a car template that goes over top of the car. I have that in a box. I didn't open it up. It's in this box. I just didn't. You know, figuring and worry about showing it or anything, but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. The car is real nice, still detailed underneath. I think it's the Mac Tools uh, promotional. It's thirty-one sixty-seven out of five thousand cars. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if this is one that they sold. <clears throat> like, I mean, I'm sure you can get them online, but I don't know if this is one that's sold from uh, Mac Tools themselves or not. Possibly. Uh, hood opens up. Detail engine in there. Got a little wires and stuff too. Got the E1 underneath the hood. Valvoline. Really nice. Okay, next up we have, this one I bought online. I bought this through uh, on a website that I usually buy some older die cast from. It's called Mercari. It's almost like eBay, but uh, I think it's a lot better than eBay. Because in Mercari, you could uh, basically name your own price. You could um, make an offer, and sometimes people accept the offer. You know, they usually, they usually start out high, and then you can usually get them down lower. But... I like this because I can always get stuff pretty cheap a lot better than I went on uh, eBay so anyhow this is a 2000 um, Chevy Monte Carlo it's number 81 Blaze Alexander I don't know how many people or how many of you out there know who Blaze Alexander was besides he's a race car driver obviously but um he was killed back in 2001 at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. He wasn't racing this particular car. This was a Bush Series car, but I think, I'm not particular what car it was, a number. It might have been the same 81 car, but just a different paint scheme. And I think it was in, I, I believe it was an ARCA race that he was driving in 2001 and ended up crashing pretty hard and uh, passing away from the... Um, accident so this was you know a year before that so this is his uh track phone wcw car and i don't know if there's a lot of uh die cast out there of blaze alexander uh, it's the first time i've ever seen one and this one i got for uh 17 or 18 dollars of course, with shipping, it was like uh, $8. So, still not too bad. I mean, shipping is where they usually get you. But if you can try to get the price down of the car or whatever you're buying, and shipping, add that to it, you might be able to be all right. But yeah, I looked up uh, how he passed away and what crash it was and you know, where he was racing at. I got the engine in there. 
sticker tires, if you can see that right there. So, yeah, it's a real nice car. I uh, <clears throat> really like the paint scheme on it. It's pretty cool. Got bright colors. Next ones we got are all the uh, 132 scale cars. These I got from uh, a friend of mine that I get die cast from every month. This is a Dale Jr. baseball card. Chicago All-Star game. And these are all action as well. You can somewhat see the engine in there. This piece right here uh, must have been lost at one time or another when uh, he bought it from whoever he bought it from. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to clean that glue out of there and probably paint it silver. Make it look a little bit better. And there you go, the underneath. I mean, these the smaller cars are just as good as the bigger ones. The 124s are just still detailed the same. They're a little bit smaller version, that's all. But they're still nice cars. I don't know if he had any more of these 132 scale cars or not. At least of the NASCAR ones, he might have. Um, I'll be back over to his house here in a few weeks. So about the second week of uh, May. Next up is the Dale Earnhardt. It's a 1995 Quicksilver car. I believe he raced this one at Charlotte, but I'm not 100% sure. I believe that's where, wait, where he raced it at. And these are all rubber too, the little window nets. No stickers on these tires. Got pretty nice and detailed in there. So there's a number on there. I think it says 1938 out of somebody. Uh -oh. Trunk opens up. Show you the fuel cell. The hood opens up. So is the engine in there? Okay. And the last one we got is another Dale Sr. This is his 1996 Monte Carlo. It's a good wrench. Black one. This is probably just, uh, I don't know what you, he, if he raced, I mean, he raced it at different races, but uh, it's not a race version or anything like that. Just a regular car. Underneath. This is also a RCCA club car, I believe. I'm not sure. I mean, this is a number... 823 out of who knows how many so this one has no stickers on its tires as well and get the engine open up and everything in there too so there you have it that's what I got for for this video, I uh, hope you all like the video. I hope you all like the, the cars I got to show you today. Uh, my next video, I'm probably going to show you the other half of my Dale Sr. Dale the Movie cars. So that'll be one through six. So that's going to be on my next video. Probably uh, I'm going to do that one tomorrow. And we'll get that uploaded and show you guys some more great but oldie cars. I mean, they got some... Uh, some real nice cars, and I think you're going to enjoy them. If you guys enjoyed the last uh, ones I showed you from number 7 through 12. So, I want to say, I want to say thanks for uh, watching the show. And please subscribe to my channel. If I get up to 500 subscribers, which I'm trying to shoot for right now, 
I do have a couple cars I'm going to be buying. They're autographed cars from the uh, uh, was it University of Racing. So I'm going to show, show you those uh, as soon as I get them. Probably next month I'm going to be getting one. And I know there's three more that I got to get from my friend all together. And I've already got those cars, but those are going to be my giveaway cars. So uh, if once I get to 500 subscribers, I will pick one subscriber out of everybody and I'm going to be giving one of those away so uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that notification bell and let, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think so I hope you guys all have fun out there <clears throat> be safe and uh, be ready for those flea markets that'll be opening up pretty soon as soon as the weather gets better and uh, happy hunting see you guys in the next video bye